Welcome StarCraft 2 fans and eSports fans, all fans in general. This is Don Juancho casting another StarCraft 2 game for you. In the bottom right hand corner we have the blue Zerg Geoth. Uh, let's see, they are docking a little bit. Alright, don't cheese me. Uh, you know, this is Zerg, I don't, really don't mind a little cheese from Terran. Well, proxy two racks or something like that but hey fair enough uh, I don't like the all-ins though so in the top left corner we have the great Archon we will see what the great Archon will be doing considering he's a Terran not Protoss so we have a ZVT on Ohana is a little bit different map than normal because I just feel like it's very linear in a way you pretty much yeah, there's a couple of different attack paths you can go around here. You can go through here, but if you have the watchtowers, you can see a good amount. And usually the maps will get sectioned off maybe this way, right here, because the way that the creep spreads, so you can get a nice little layer right here, or just straight across. So let's see if what we're going with here it looks like a pretty standard opening so far Zerg is going to be opening up with a 15 hatch I assume Terran is trying to block it a little bit probably not not that big of a deal he's not like he's throwing down a eBay or anything like that uh, doing a pretty good pretty good job of blocking it right now and oh there it goes down right now our player Geoth has just scouted and so I should I should mention that this game was submitted on uh, let's see it was on Reddit for all things Zerg it's posted saying you know if you want your game casted or analyzed just throw it on here and just to warn you this is gonna be a little bit longer of a game so I might be fast forwarding in a little bit right now Terran did take a somewhat early gas it's good scout so I'm gonna I'm just gonna guess some type of either Hellion or Banshee or combination of the two from Zerg. Uh, it's tough to tell. Mm, somewhat early gas. Some players like to wait a little bit longer. We're going to see if this cuts into his queen production. And I should also mention, oh there's the factory, I should also mention that this is a diamond level play. Diamond level game. So I just feel like fast forwarding a little bit. Uh, see if he gets the reactor. Yep, so most commonly it's going to get some Hellions. This is generally just to cut down on the creep spread. It's been a little bit harder since the Queens have a longer range than some people are used to. But if Zerg is not careful, he can lose a lot of drones. This is a big problem I have is losing just tons of drones. You don't defend properly. You get some Hellions that can either run by here or you just don't have enough Queens to deal with this so I yeah I, I really like the Roach Warren to combat that obviously everyone knows that roaches just destroy Hellions and I'm a little bit surprised right now I'd like to see if Zerg had a little bit more scouting going on right now uh, he hasn't quite seen that when this expansion is being taken he does see that the Hellions are out so he's in a good position he has eight roaches coming out I almost think if he has this many, he should probably put on pressure with eight roaches. Normally, you only need a handful, maybe four or five, to deal with these uh, Hellions. And as you're doing that, you can take your expansion. So we're, we're going to see. Let's see. Oh, good attack by the Zerg. That just taking out a couple of Hellions really helps out. Now he knows that he's on the back foot. And right now... Terran just feels like he is on the back foot, so he's going to throw down. Well, he's just going to wall off right here, basically. But I think that since he has two Marauders, three Marauders now, he's going to have Medivacs pretty soon. Well, mm, yeah, just putting on a little bit of pressure. I really like this he, as he takes a third. He's putting Terran on the defensive. I almost think that he doesn't need quite as many Roaches but he's basically making these Hellions useless. He can spread creep as much as he wants. I'd like to see if he had a couple more Queens. 
Yeah, queens are, are really good in this matchup. To really get that creep spread grow, going. Very helpful to have a good spread between all of your bases and then out a little bit more. It's going to really slow down the Terran's push. So what do we have going on for Terran? It looks like nothing too nothing too out of the ordinary. It's going to be a timing push, I'm guessing, with Marines, Medivacs, and Tanks. It's also going to have a couple Hellions and some Marauders. And as for Zerg, he is getting double upgrades. I very much like that. He's getting a macro hatch. Has he's still getting he he still has the roaches. He kept them alive, but you really want to transition out of roach. That's unless you're doing a, a mid-game timing attack, but that's not what he's doing. It's kind of missed the window for that. We have Terran pushing down here right now. Really. Sh Kind of let those let those mara or let the Hellions get out of position right there. Really want to keep the Hellions with everything because they're just gonna get eaten up by the roaches. However, they are very strong against the Zerglings. Obviously, looks like our response after this little push is gonna be a lot more Zerglings in production. And I, I like where Zerg is at right now. He's on three bases. He's getting them saturated. I feel like he can easily squash this force if he wants to. Yeah, he has a good amount of Zerglings. I'd maybe like to see a couple of Banelings go down. And maybe have these guys get a little action in. You know, one thing that you can do, if they ever move out, just have a couple of Zerglings run on by here. If you have a couple of Banelings, that's very good too. I wonder if Zerg, he's almost like he's waiting for his 1-1 one, one to finish, and then he's just going to decide to go and push. Wow, good surrounds right there. Doesn't lose too much, but this is his asking to get taken out. Now, Zerg probably doesn't quite realize how ahead he is, but Terran does. Terran pulls back, and wow, he really... Oh, there he does. He goes in. And that's going to be really good, because this is going to slow down that, that third for a while right now. And just going to fast forward a little bit, see if we have a little bit more engagement right now. Getting, um, wow, is he still, wow, he's, well, still on layer tech, or still on hive tech. We have a big engagement right now, slow this down, wow, look at those zerglings, just going to be tearing this up. I'd like to see maybe a couple of banelings or some infestors, but he's just getting his layer up. And takes out that third, wow, he's in such a great position right now. Uh, he could have had the roaches in there, but... I think this is perfect for Zerg. You're in a good spot. Just kind of hang out. Wait for Terran. And, well, not wait, but keep him on two bases. Maybe even take a third for yourself. I'd like to see a, a better spread of overlords getting him here, here, and here. So he knows that he can't be dropped. It's going to be very crucial. But if you can keep Zerg, or if you can keep Terran on two bases, you're going to be doing so well. And as we can see right now, he is taking advantage of that. I'd like to see upgrades would be very good. I think Investor is a very strong play right here. Uh, he's getting a Spire, uh, which isn't bad. I guess it can be good to try and keep him on two bases even more and prevent drops. So it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a, a drop play. One thing I should mention, I would really, well, I guess since he doesn't have much creep spread, I kind of like this base better as a fourth because it naturally flows that way, especially if you're spreading creep. So we have a big drop coming, but it looks like our Zerg player sees it, but he might, well, if they double back, he's probably just going to drop that and drops it, probably going to take out this fourth. Oh, well, he decides to cancel anyway. So we don't have any anti-air yet. Oh, sorry, just going to pause that here to see where we're at. Looks like the Zerg will be able to engage this army. It has 19 mutas in production. Now, I guess I guess making any units is good right now. I'd like to see him make even more Zerglings, because Zerglings are amazing, and maybe getting some Banelings. Uh, I guess I, I don't have too much of a problem with getting 19 mutalists. I just feel like you could spend... That's 1,900 gas. You could spend that on getting your hive and get your hive tech going on because that's I don't know maybe, maybe it's just a personal preference but 
as Zerg, you really want to get to the Hive Tech against Terran. That's where you have such a big strength. You hear people, or you hear Terrans talk about how unfair it is. Oh, they get the Broodlord and Fester composition, and it's just game over. Well, yeah, you have to get there, though. You have to get to that position. Oh, it looks like he's taking out the third. Wow, such a good job of keeping him on just two bases. But this is somewhat of a fragile army. Is he going to be able to get that surround? Yep. I like the good surround, but he's just getting melted by the blue flame. He is not keeping his mutas alive. Mutas are just, oh, they're so fragile. You have to run away from those engagements. I'm not sure. I think he probably should just pull back. Now he's not, Zerg is definitely not behind right now, but he didn't take this out, which is pretty crucial. I almost would have rather just sacking a couple of mutas to take that out. Running the running the Zerglings away, just to have that in. And now, wow, uh, very good comeback here by the Terran player, getting his third and fourth up at the same time. And they're both going to be planetary fortresses. Very hard to combat as a Zerg, especially just with with Zerglings. He is getting the turrets up too. I think this is really you really have to transition away from Mutas. It's you're just not going to be able to siege. Mutas are more harassment. If you have some, fu just imagine that big, that big attack that was right here. If instead he had infestors, you get a couple of fungals off on that big ball, and a couple of banelings. That's it's game over. He can't do anything at that point. But these crafty Terrans, they can just come back into the game so easily. At times. They have such cost-effective units at times, and that's what happened. He's back into it. Interesting choice. He decided to get the Raven. Looks like he's getting extra defense, the high-sec auto-tracking, making those turrets just a little bit better. As I said, a little bit longer of a game. Want to want to go ahead here. Looks like we might see another engagement. Again, this Muta Link, Bane Link attack. Looks like he's going to have a little bit more success with this, our Zerg players, but still, wow, he just gets that cleaned up anyway. And wow, Battle Cruisers. Got some Cattle Bruisers coming up for Terran. Looks like Terran just, or, yep, is going to walk over, take out this expansion. There we go, so Zerg is getting his, getting more lings but he needs something else to back him up infestors are really good really good at pinning down these units and doing a lot of damage to them you just need that aoe damage really no he still has a good amount of mutas i'd like to see some fungal come in here too where the, it is there's good fungal right there might be able to take out this entire army with a couple more good fungals oh it's coming down to it it is coming down Looks like Zerg is going to have this. Oh, somewhat handily. Hangs on to his Mutalis. Okay, that's that was good. Only thing is, Terran is on two bases, and they're pretty well defended. You know, I think if Zerg is just being a little bit more active, he could just poke in here. You notice that there's no turrets. You can always walk in there. It's not like there's any Thor. Wow, actually, if he walks in there... He could really do some damage. I would love to see that. Just have some mutas come in, pick off some add-ons, some depots, just whatever he can right now. There's not that much that Terran has for defense. Okay, this is kind of an interesting attack right here. I feel like it's not going to do that much damage. I would have much rather had seen it maybe just do some fungals on the SCVs. That's always very strong, take out his SCVs. But yeah, this this planetary fortress, you, you I really feel like you need some ultralists or some obviously some brood lords are going to be very very strong. Interesting with the cattle bruisers, very very interesting. He's getting weapons upgrades for them, weapons, uh, well vehicle weapons and ship weapons. Looks like some of the transition to mech. You don't see this very often, especially not this level. Well really any level. Zerg is getting his Greater Spire, so I'm really happy to see that he's getting that. I really want to see him 
get some brood lords out some corruptors to deal with this and some fungals maybe even some neural parasite too oh we have a big engagement big fungals go down these corruptors are just taking down these battle cruisers doing that extra damage maybe even uh, some corruption would be very good too it makes them take extra damage on these bigger units very key to use wow these things are just so tough staying alive for so long but still no match for this army the only thing is Terran is up to five now he's up to five bases really as a as a zerg you really have to do something about that Mor morphing in some broodlords that's gonna be doing some good damage broodlords keep these infestors underneath to fungal anything that wants to come and attack you need a little bit more anti-air a couple more corruptors is gonna be very good here but let's see what happens oh come on get it get some good attacks on this Thor here are these cattle bruisers they are not going down oh not until these corruptors come in so I think yeah I, I think Zerg is in a decent position here I probably want to hang on to these corruptors a little bit more keep your army together mainly just about taking on taking down these expansions that's what's gonna be doing it for you take down all these expansions take down SCVs everything you can keep your army together this is where you need the fungals to, to land and a little bit of corruption there's no attack bonuses but Terran has the some attack bonuses and defense bonuses you really want to get that too especially just well generally you don't need it but if you're attacking these battle cruisers it is a good thing to have so good victory here by Zerg but I'm a little bit concerned that he doesn't have more expansions he's only taking his fifth right now and Terran has been on four for a long time let's see where we're at here uh, still a decent amount about two-thirds mined out here about two-thirds mined out here mined out in both bases they are both of our players but just laying siege right now. Oh, be careful with that. You don't want to be losing. Don't want to be losing those guys. Good fungal right there. I'd like to see. Oh, you got to get the fungal going on on these guys. Maybe some neural parasite would be pretty cool too. But it looks like uh, pretty handily. Uh, these cattle brood, they're just doing so much damage. So much damage. Need more corruptors. And not having any more fungal is really hurting. Really need the fungals. Uh, so meaning to say yeah get some uh, uh, neural parasite I think I've been saying it but still that would be so awesome neural parasite some of these battle cruisers so helpful because they don't have an enormous range as you know other other stronger units that you normally can't parasite because they're so strong so this guy's gonna fall quickly hopefully that other battle cruiser will fall pretty soon really need more corruptors and to complement the corruptors very helpful to have the infestors and once again our Zerg player is getting shut down on this extra base and almost feels like the tide is changing for Terran we do see that I, I, I don't know about this Hydralisk I feel like it'd be better they're very expensive it'd be better just to get corruptors anyway but right now we do have a good supply lead for the Zerg player however just he's only on one base it's basically on one base to two bases right now that would be nice you know what as a zerg feel fine to take this base right here if you feel comfortable we have this big mech ball moving over yes air air and mech and some marines coming over just imagine a good fungal on these guys some corruptors coming in taking them out it's going to do a lot of damage we have these these hydras i'm just interested in seeing how these hydras react generally you don't get hydras in this matchup we're gonna see how it works out and that Thor I feel he's gonna do so much damage to this group there we go big fungal going off like to see a couple more fungals actually the Thor wasn't in it so he was he's okay oh get those roaches in there okay he takes that out now these hydras are actually doing some decent amount of damage there we go taking out everything out but once again Zerg has no more bases so uh, yeah it's so right now it's no bases to two bases by Terran he doesn't have the army but he can probably rebuild it Zerg begins to proxy mine right now 
Man, just take this this expansion, just take both expansions. He can't kill both of them at the same time. Well, it looks like he's going to be taking this for himself. If he gets that, he's going to be in such a huge lead right now. So right now, it almost doesn't even make sense as Terran, or as Zerg, to attack right here. Hardly any mineral fields left. It's, it's just not worth it. It is something good that you want to scout. Does he, is it even worthwhile to go and attack? Okay, another big attack going on right here. Everything doing damage. Broodlords, I'd like to see them attack the Thor, but all in all, it looks like, it looks like Zerg has enough of an advantage that, enough of an army advantage that he is pretty much fine. I'd like to see a little bit better army control right there. And so just imagine if this army right here was taking out this base. Because now look, he's got his orbital command up. And man, now he's he's set again. He once again has one more base. Uh, thankfully our Zerg friend is getting back up on to two active bases. But it looks like he, he might lose one again. He's going to get pushed right here. They both have very slow armies. But, but I feel like Zerg, he's just wasting his time taking this expansion out here. He's going to lose this expansion. Hopefully he doesn't lose all these drones. That is so many drones to lose. Could really hurt. Let's lose to that expansion right there. Let's check out our upgrades. 2-2. Two, two. This is a very interesting game. Very uh, fun game to cast too. They have a lot of air. Seems like Terran has transition though. He's transitioning. I don't know. I guess he doesn't quite have enough of the gas to make any more battle cruisers so he's getting more thors more more bio which is what he has the upgrades for isn't a bad thing i'd like to see uh, i guess i'd like to see more zerglings if you have all this all this uh minerals you got to get zerglings just imagine a 20 zerglings running around just getting this around here and killing everything a couple of fungals right here would be so so helpful there you go there's one fungal let me just see a couple more fungals. Get that air superiority, especially when they're clumped up like that. Couple fungals. Oh, he doesn't quite have enough. Ooh. A little bit risky to land your Vikings. Generally don't want to do that because they're going to get cleaned up. Even if you do take them out, you're sustaining such heavy losses. I'm not sure what Terran was thinking right there. Almost just like a desperation. Even though he's not bad. He's on more... Well, I guess it's about even now. It's about one base to one base. If he takes this out, he's in such a big <laughs> such a big lead. Your race is stupid. Well, you know, I understand that feeling. I I feel that way sometimes, but really just, you know, look at the replay and see what you could do better. That's, you know, that's what you do. Wow, it's almost not even worth it to retake this right here. So this this map is almost mined out. We're gonna see how this plays out right now. I think the edges have to go to Zerg. A little bit ahead in army army supply. Let's see, upgrades are about the same. Two two. He doesn't have the upgrades for the for the throwing though for the for that. Gonna be interesting to see how Zerg plays it. I think I'd rather play a little bit passive. I guess if he could take this out, it would be good, but you really don't want to lose this base, because you have much more minerals. Yep, you know that he's going to be pushing on it. He just scanned you. We see it moving across. Oh, Zerg, you got to spend those minerals. Just get, just imagine a whole bunch more Zerglings. You're going to do so good here. Just imagine if he's instantly had twice as many. Oh, good! Fungals go off! That is just going to do so much damage, but he does have these cattle bruisers. Raining down hell. These fungals, they do bonus damage. Throws out some infested Terrans. Is this going to be enough? These things are so strong, but no, he will fall. He will fall. Terran losing a huge chunk of his army. Just can't take out that expansion. Good hold by Zerg. Our Zerg player is holding on well. This is just a war of attrition right now. He's just like two empires that have been battling for hundreds of years. And eventually they're just going to run out of minerals and, and Vespian gas. Look at this proxy mining for the gas. Wow. 
That is interesting. I have never seen that before. At least not in a while. I, I'm not sure if Terran is going to have enough to come back. Down in the army supply. Let's see about units lost altogether. Wow, yeah, Terran is ahead. That's generally not a good sign for Terran. So we're going to take a look at the units here. A couple of Thors. Wow, he doesn't have that much. Basically just kind of protecting his planetary fortress right here. Not, not a bad decision. A little passive. I just feel like this is going to be a... I mean, obviously it's been a quite a long game. So probably not something that where you want to be too risky. Oh, you could really get some good fungals off right here and just take those guys out. Really don't want to be too risky. I'd like to see him maybe take out this right here. You can see it mining. Might just might not be something that you really notice. Very small thing. So our Zerg player. Oh, actually, yeah, it was good that he took this back so he could get his gases. So he has some some gases going. Zerg player. I think he can take this. Some good fungals. Maybe a couple, yeah, a couple more banelings I'd really like to see, but maybe a couple more infestors. This is a, this is going to be interesting. It looks like Terran is on the offensive. He's realizing that he can't let Zerg have this base to himself. If he keeps that base, he's just going to have too much minerals. Forcing him down into this choke. Brilliant strategy by the Terran player, but I think it's just going to be too much. Good fungals go off. Such good fungals go off. Taking all these guys down, dropping some eggs, a couple more fungals, making sure that there is no escape for these Terrans. Wow. Just once again decimating the Terran army. And yet, he's t Terran is still rebuilding with his last few minerals. Zerg has a decent amount. I guess he's waiting for some more gas to make some more gas heavy units, saving those minerals knowing there's not many more minerals on the map. I feel like this game might be over pretty soon though. Terran is basically out of minerals. Zerg has a decent advantage army supply. Look at that. 23 to 85. It's going to be very smart. I say just be smart about it. Don't try to, like what are you going to do? Take out this right here. There's hardly anything left in there. Just wait for him to come out. Maybe you could attack his main. I mean look at this. There's actually nothing in his main. Not that he really needs it, but it's going to show show him that he can't rebuild no matter what. Even if he had the minerals, which there's no more minerals here. So hopefully, well, we're probably going to see some, maybe some brood lords. Well, actually, I mean, we're, yeah, we're basically out of minerals right here. Wow, almost completely mined out. At least for minerals, yep, that will do it. I do not see any more minerals, just gas left on the playing field. So hopefully this isn't a stalemate. I think that just with the variety of units, oh, good, good toss there. Some good volleyballs. Don't lose those units. We have the good. Oh, decided not to push. Yep, he is going to go in for the kill right here. I don't like this. I hate to say it. I think he has enough to take him out, but I just hate to see him lose just to this planetary fortress. You really have to be careful how you choose your battles. I think he's going to have enough with all these infested Terran. There's just so many. He actually doesn't even have enough minerals to repair. I mean, he does, but he actually guess he doesn't have uh, anything to repair it with. Wow, and it goes down. This should be GG. Wow, GG. Well played. Long game. 53 minutes. Well done by the Zerg player. That was just phenomenal. Staying on, staying on top of your macro. And, you know, I criticized a couple of things he could have done better, but... Wow, just considering how many things he had to do and how long it took him, that's just amazing. So, well played. Thanks for submitting this replay, Geoth. I hope you enjoyed casting it, or enjoyed listening to it as much as I enjoyed casting it. So, one half of Team bon Donbot, Don Wancho, signing out.